So I had this thought about the digital LSAT that I thought you might find interesting as well. So the digital LSAT, it's going to be on a tablet. They've been using Samsung tablets for their pilots, so that's probably what they'll use for the official digital LSAT as well. Now, whichever tablet they use, if it was a Samsung or iPad, doesn't really matter. My thought on this is that it's problematic, especially for reading comprehension. Because think about how you might use tablets in everyday life, whether it's a phone or an actual tablet or a computer, any sort of electronic device, especially mobile devices, we tend to skim. We read quickly. It's our habit. Maybe that's in part because a lot of the information on the internet that we typically consume is of relatively lower quality than what we read in physical form. Like if you read a book for college or an academic paper for college, it's probably printed out or in a book. But if you're reading a listicle on a site like BuzzFeed, that's going to be online. Nobody's printing that out because that's probably not worth the paper that it's printed on. So if you think about your reading habits, when do you skim more often? And what information is typically lower quality and less complex? The information that you read online, the information that you read on a digital device is typically lower quality and not as important as what you read on paper. So the consequence of this for the digital LSAT is that if you're reading a reading comprehension passage or a logical reasoning stimulus or the rules of a logic game, you're reading them on a digital screen, but they are far more important than any listicle you might read online, any clickbait you might see out there. So you've got to get used to slowing down when you read on a screen and you've got to get used to reading more dense and complex information on a screen if you're going to be preparing for the digital LSAT. So if you're prepping for the paper and pencil format, I would definitely recommend, of course, always using physical copies of prep tests and other prep materials, printing out whatever you might need to print out. But on the other hand, if you're prepping for the digital LSAT, then you're going to have to get used to reading this complex information on a screen and forcing yourself to slow down when you encounter more difficult, complex information. You're going to want to have the prep tests in some kind of digital format, and you're going to want to get used to taking them under timed conditions, and you're going to want to get used to not being able to do markings freehand as you would on a paper and pencil format.